Hey guys, and thanks for joining us. Uh, I am Spencer, I'm the marketing executive for Cool Mini or Not, and this is... Amanda. And this is... Jared, and I'm the uh, marketing coordinator. And today, we are playing Xenoshift Dreadmire. This is the sequel to Xenoshift Onslaught. Uh, it is a standalone a game, but it also works as an expansion if you want to mix and match. However, today we are playing uh, just the cards that are from Xenoshift Dreadmire, and we are using kind of prototype materials as well as uh, the lanes from the original game because uh, those materials are done, but we don't have nice printed versions of them yet. So we're using these. So what we've got here at the top, this is the troops that we have available to us in the beginning first wave of the game when we're fighting the first wave of aliens. And the Xenosathan, which we'll get at the beginning of each round to help us buy troops and items, which you have all the items available here, right? Um, you may notice that these cards are face down. That's because we'll flip them over as we get to that nice. wave, right? That's exciting. Right. And the waves work pretty simply. We do three rounds and then we move on to the second. We'll do good. three rounds. So yep. which division are you, Jared? I am controlling the weapons research division. One thing to point out about divisions is this time they're a little more streamlined. Yep. Uh, they're easier, they have a kind of a little bit easier to understand and also it's it's less choice, more like this is what happens, this is what happens, this is what right. happens, right? Um, so it's a little bit more streamlined this time as well as uh, it makes it a little bit easier for new players to get into the game, right? Cool. Uh, I'm playing the med bay, so I'll be helping out and keeping people from getting sick. All right, Amanda, you are? I am the science division. Mm -hmm. So uh, my power actually is once per round deal extra damage to a revealed enemy. So that's pretty useful. Yeah. Extra science can, up in here. Sounds like science. Yeah. That sounds like, yeah, science. Yeah. Yeah. Extra destruction. Yeah. That's science. Uh, yeah, and each, each, uh, each division also gets uh, special items that they put into their hands, right? Yes. So, or into their deck that you can use. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to, we have our cards drawn already, which we, yep. cut that, we cut that out so we have them in our hand already. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna purchase, which is the first uh, the first way we're gonna see what we got, look at your Xeno save them, and you'll be able to make a purchase. All right, so we've purchased now, now our hand is basically complete. These are the items that we can either play during the next turn or we can deploy into our lane. Yeah. Uh, one thing we need to make a note of is that one thing that has changed in Xeno Shift Dreadmire is that there are now, uh, kind of weather effects. In this case, uh, this is nighttime. So night will change uh, special abilities the monsters will have, but also special abilities the weapons might have, right? Excellent. So it kind of, once you know that, you go, okay, I know I need to hold on to this item or buy this item, right? So, so we actually showed that at the beginning of the round, but we're just now mentioning it. All right, so I'm gonna deploy my troops here. We've got actually four militia. Full row. Yeah. Oh yeah. Full bore. They're not afraid of the dark. Especially this guy right here, I'm gonna toss the flamethrower on him. And this actually has a night effect. Cool. So uh, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna give me a special ability when we use that and then uh, we'll, we'll get to that though. Yeah. All right, well I'm gonna deploy one ranger and two militia. Good choices. This guy's the leader, he's going in first. It's cool dudes, follow me. <laughs> and then uh, I'm gonna give this dude the nanobot booster, which is a uh, little bonus there. All right. And it does not have a nighttime bonus, but it's awesome all, all together. I think I'm going to deploy my research officer here mm -hmm. and just a militia here. My lane looks pretty empty, but I've got bombs. It's always good to just throw the scientist on the front line. Yeah, he's like, yeah. I'm going in, guys. You gotta get some samples. <laughs> I gotta touch these Fair aliens. Enough. Yeah. All right, guys, so we've deployed the aliens here, the brood into the lanes. Uh, one thing people might notice who have played Onslaught, Xenoshift Onslaught, mm -hmm. is that uh, this time there's only three during the first round. Okay. Um, it's a little bit more of a ramp difficulty. It helps balance right. the game out a little bit more. Okay. So we'll go ahead and start with the first player, which is you. Sounds good. And we'll resolve off the let's combat see. here. All right. Well, let's see what I got. What did you get? Ooh, Corpse Hound. Ouch. All right, yes, yeah, so that doesn't sound good. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, use that Stalker's Blade I bought earlier. Mm -hmm and uh, it's going to deal three damage to him because it's night, mm -hmm. but that would kill him. Yep. Unfortunately, because it's night, his ability uh, brings him back at two health. Yeah. So, um, so him and my first militia, they're gonna trade and do their thing, unfortunately. All right, so he dies. He dies. And so does he. Yes. Those he, two dudes die. Yes. All right, let's see what we got here. Ooh, the Moss Hulk. That does not seem good. Um, you know what, he's got five health, yep. but because of that awesome flamethrower, I can deal five damage, so we're just gonna, again, hug it out, yep. yeah. which results in both people dying. That's some good hugging there. As hugging does. All right, so now we're on to my third enemy. Mm -hmm. 
It is the Blight Rat. <gasps> uh, so he deals one and can take three. Unfortunately, my guy only deals two mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and only has one health. So my militia is going to die. Uh, he also, lost the hug. Yeah, he lost the hug battle. Uh, also, unfortunately, when he kills uh, one of my troops, the base is going to take two damage. We ha- so Gravity Bomb, you've already used your Stalker's Blade. Right. The gravity Bomb and stuff like that would, would be something we could play. The issue is, I haven't seen my guys. Say, we've, this yeah, is the first I, round. Right. We still have got I six got more guys revealed. Very empty lane here. Yeah. So. so I would say we just, I mean, the base is at full health right now. Right. Which in a three player game is still 45, 15, yes. 15, and 15. So I say we just take it. All right. So that's two. Now these guys are going to fight mm-hmm. and they are uh, both going to die. Yep. Which means. Your lane's empty. My lane is empty. You mostly did your job. All right, so it's my it's now my turn. See so how you do. The old med bay. All right, so our first uh, our first monster here is the Twilight Stalker. Uh, so when he reveals, he deals two damage to the last troop in lane, which is this dude. This militia is super dead. Goner. Wow. You did a lot of good work, man. All right, so now these guys are going to exchange Twilight uh, Stalker and the Ranger. Um, normally, they would uh, kill each other. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and use my nanobot boosters, which uh, once per round prevent two damage from the uh, being dealt to this troop, or gives it plus two damage for it. Like I'm going to prevent the damage, right? All right? So I use that, and I'll just take one of these little blue markers and say, "That nanobot booster Used. is gone." This guy gets dead. Nice. All right, so my next enemy is going to be the Death Ripper Charger. Yep. Ooh, I'm scared. Uh, these guys are going to fight, but my ranger is so baller, he's just going to kill him. So this guy's going to deal one damage to my ranger. That doesn't sound very scared. Well, you know, I'm a tough guy. All right. I'm a tough guy. You got a flashlight. I got a flashlight. Yeah. <laughs> Only tough guys. Uh, tough final guys. enemy. Doing pretty good. Flip it over. It's the Mist Shrieker. Uh, reveal. Uh, deal two damage to the first troop at your lane, and then uh, and then place it at the end of your lane. So two damage uh, would actually kill yeah, this dude. Yeah. Uh, so he's gonna die. But I'm going to use my med bay ability, which allows me to move my troop. Kills him when they die. He can get basically moved to the end of the lane, and he's allowed to come back with one HP. So I'll just put the okay. shield on there to note that he's only got one HP left. These guys will move down. You know, that way you got a little buffer in case this doesn't work out. Uh, the militia and the mistreaker will actually kill each other. Nice. So med bay prevents any damage to the base, and we got one dude just chilling in my lane. All right, so my turn. Let's see what the science lab can do. I have a rock hide sloth, and uh, I think I'm gonna just go ahead and use my gravity bomb and kill him because I definitely am not gonna be able to do that with my poor little research officer. Because uh, this one deals five damage to the revealed enemy and then two damage to me right here, which I need five to kill Mr. Sloth here. Okay. Got some shifting. Right. Now we've got a Toxic Shambler here, so he's going to do one damage to the first two troops in the lane. Ooh, it's looking yeah, bad. That's, that's not so great. Uh, Alright, well, I'm going to use my uh, division ability here to go through and get the old Stalker's Blade. Sweet. And, uh,. And then we'll use that on him, and it'll deal him three damage. Okay. So. Requiescat in passe. Yep. Let's move down this next guy. Okay, so we've got a Mist Shrieker here for my last one, and he's just going to kill me with his reveal effect, and I do nothing. You're a good run. Sad. I did. I had a great run. My science. Which, you know what? Instead of doing death stuff, I'm going to just blow this guy up with my science power. So I'm going to deal wave plus one, so that's two here, damage to my enemy, which is going to kill him. Nice. Right there. All right. All right. Cool. Science lab exploded. Very cool. So that's the end of round one. Yeah. Um, just to recap, we've taken some damage. Yeah, I don't know what you guys are doing. Took four damage to the base. Yeah. What happens. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, but mid base still got somebody just hanging out. And the best part is, I didn't even need to use my uh, my rescue drone. Oh, you didn't, nice. you didn't need to rescue any of the people that were dying? Well, I didn't need to rescue anybody in my lane. Huh. He was holding on to Rally Bomb. I remember that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right yeah. All right, let's go on to round two. Sweet. Sounds good.
this is round three, which will be the final round in this wave. And nice. going back to that scaling difficulty, we've actually dealt in bosses this time. So we oh, okay. instead of the bosses being randomly in the entire wave when you play the game, mm -hmm. uh, that scaling difficulty now means that the bosses get dealt in only in the final round of the wave. So okay. Definitely so in here. They're gonna, we're going to have to deal with them, but we don't know who's dealing with them and when, right? right? Um, the other thing I point out is it is fog, so that's the weather effect this time. Okay. So with that said, uh, let's get started with Amanda. All right. Let us reveal a Ripper eel, and um, <laughs> we're just going to kill each other here, my militia and this eel. Shifting up. All right, we've got the Twilight Stalker, and he is going to just kind of kill me. Mm -hmm. So gonna, there's real effect, reveal effect. Yeah, his reveal first. effect is going to just attack me and I die. That sucks. That's a... Hmm. Yeah, this is, this is not working out very well for me, but that's cool because I'm the science lab. I got some bombs. Okay, fair enough. Yep. So I'm just going to kill him. Hey, and this time you're not actually blowing up our troops. Let's see yeah. what we've got here for the next one. <laughs> We've got a Ravager Centipede, uh, and he's a boss. He's wow. super powerful if we've got a bunch of stuff in the lane here, but we don't, and I'm just going to blow him up. Uh, so, <laughs> all right, so, yeah, okay. All right. Yeah. No well, argument here. I yeah, mean, I, I mean, I, Well, he'd be a lot like worse it. if I had more I people, like but I don't. Our science line is empty and full of bombs. You killed everyone, and it helped us out. Yeah. Okay, what do we have last? I don't have much left. Okay, I've got another Ripper Eel, but... I'm gonna just use this gun drone here. Oh, nice. okay. And when I play him, he plays like a troop. So I'm just gonna use robots and kill this guy. Nice. And my gun drone dies. So we ran out of people. Nice. We're killing stuff with robots and bomb here. Nice. All right, so let's see what we got. Miss Shrieker, and unfortunately there's some fog. So his reveal effect sends my research officer to the back with two damage. And because of the fog, he gets rid of my flamethrower. So that's sad. Thank you. These guys are going to move up, and uh, I'm actually, before he even does his attack, I'm going to throw a knife right in his face. Yep. Yep. There you go. Took care of that. Plenty of knives. Easy peasy from here on out. He said before he revealed the boss. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is the Marsh Flare, and uh, he deals damage first when he attacks. And because it's fog, he has a little kind of shield here. Um, the first time he just takes his damage, he negates it. Okay, well, I'm going to help you out, since my science dude's over there in the back. Uh, I'm going to use my power and deal wave plus one, so it's going to be three damage to him. Okay, nice. And so with that, so that's negated, but now we can actually start doing some, some business. Real stuff. Um, this attacks, he does his damage first, so he's dead. These guys move up. All right, so, hang on a sec. I got some more backup hmm. for you. Sending some robots your way. Oh, I like robots. So that's actually going to help me out a lot here. Uh, he's going to be dealing some extra damage now, and uh, that extra damage is going to let him kill it. So he's dealing four to kill him. And that's another boss down. Yeah. Woo! Unfortunately, uh, this militia guy eats it as well. Also eats it. Yep. yep. All right. Let's see what we got here. Uh, Plague Crawler. So he's going to be bringing them back the dead, and he's surely going to kill this guy. So... That sucks. All right, now the plague crawler is going after the gun drone. The reason that sucks is because he's also going to kill this gun drone. Oh. Uh, they will kill each other, which is nice. But uh, this gun drone actually revives on the enemy side, which leads me to some weird ethical questions about what's going, what's going on with the science lab over there and how. Uh, Nonsense. See what we got here. <laughs> Dark. I did. Uh, plague crawler again. So mm. uh, unfortunately, it's a lot of damage. It's gonna be happening here, but nothing else to bring back from the dead. Um, I can't do anything, so we've got uh, six damage coming through. Oh, well. You're welcome. Thanks, again. You're welcome. All right, so it's my turn. Let's see what we got. Oh, great, it's an uh, ambush mate, so he just jumps to the end of the lane. Good boy. And he'll just do damage as he's so he's got the a... sneaky man. Yep. All right, so let's see what they got next. Corpse Hound. Uh, nothing procs, so these guys will deal, uh, fight each other, but I'm gonna actually use his nanobot booster to prevent two, so he'll only take one. Not bad. He'll kill this guy. Boom. Slide this up, slide this up. Now this will, when he slides up, he's gonna do damage to the end troop, so yeah. that kills the militia. Give it die. Just don't hang out in the back, dude. Yeah. Don't, uh, don't next, be texted. Ooh, the next guy is the Moss Hulk. So the deal is he's got a ton of health, five. Yeah. He doesn't do a lot of damage, but he uh, gets more powerful as he gets attacked. 
So we'll fight. Um, he'll do me do one damage to my ranger here, and I will do three to him. You're actually going to be doing. Uh, oh, sorry, four. four. Sorry, excuse me. Yeah, thanks, man. And then I'll have to fight again. And what will happen is he now does five damage. So that's going. These guys are going to fight each other. Uh, one damage will be enough to kill him. Yep. And the remaining four will actually roll over. So that will kill this guy too. Which is unfortunate. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to use my special ability though to keep one of these rangers alive with two health, with one health. Excuse me, one health. So this guy will go off. This guy will stay alive with one health. But the problem is when these guys advance, he's going to die. No, he's not. No, oh. he's not. I got robots. Perfect. That's Those awesome. robots in here instead. That's what robots are for, right? So this guy will move down, this guy will move down, and that blows this up, but that goes into my, back into my deck, because you gave it to me. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome, because, <laughs> uh, you know, you've been so helpful. I'm really helpful. Yeah. Flip this over, and it is a corpse hound. Uh, he's going to wind up, they're going to wind up killing each other. Unless. Uh-huh. Chuck that uh, stalker blade right at him. Boom, he's dead. Kill him, yep. All right, so then this guy will move forward. I've actually got a rescue drone in my hand. Oh, nice. So I will use that to prevent the damage he would normally cause. From advancing. From advancing. Cool. Right. And then these guys will fight. Boom, boom. Trade. And you're done. You can trade. It's no problem. And that's that. You're okay. welcome. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate yeah. it. You're welcome. Appreciate it. I figure I might as well do something. I let six damage through. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We're now at the beginning of wave two. Yep. And again, uh, we've now, because it's the beginning of wave two, we've unlocked the second set of uh, troops that we can pick from. And we are also starting again with three enemies per lane, again with that ramping for the yep. Uh Jared is the first player. That's me. Let's see what we got here. Uh, the Corpse Larva Injector. So when he is uh, revealed, uh, I'm going to actually be taking this Militia guy from my discard mm -hmm. pile, and he's going to be respawning back here, which sucks. That's uh, Zambi. That's yeah, he's like this Zambi Militia dude. Okay, so now to deal with this guy, uh, don't really want to get in a fight this early, so I'm going to throw this Stalker's Blade down, which is going to do enough damage to kill him, but uh, because it's nighttime, but also unfortunately because it's night, he is going to pump the next guy up uh, with uh, plus two, plus two. So we have the Swamp Howler, who has uh, got that plus two, plus two from the Larva Injector, and when he's revealed because of the night and his normal reveal effect, he's actually dealing uh, four damage to the front, the Ooh. last and front. That sucks for you. Yeah, it sucks. Um, so that's going to kill the Demolitionist, who, uh, because it's wave two, is going to be able to deal two damage when he dies. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and hit the Militia with that. Get rid of that guy. Mm -hmm. And then, um, now we're dealing with this. This guy has one hit point uh, left, so this fight's not going to end well. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, uh, let's do this. I'll go ahead and throw a Stalker Blade on him. Yeah. So that's going to be three damage. Then I'll go ahead and use my Division ability to bring this back, throw it at him again. Oh, nice. So three extra, more damage. Extra knives in your card. Yes. So now we have two left, and I can kill him. Let's go ahead and sacrifice this Flamethrower here. And we'll deal three more damage, which will take him out. Just all your weapons. Yes. I threw all the weapons from the weapons research <laughs> at this swamp power. So I'm feeling good. Let's see what this last guy is. Marsh Leaper. I'm not feeling good anymore. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, oh, he oh, cannot okay. be targeted by any of you guys, so that sucks. there's no help coming from there. Well, and unfortunately, because it's night, mm. he is going to be dealing his damage first. So you just die. Yes, yeah, so that's you? five damage to this uh, commander here. And he's done commanding. And, uh,. I guess I'll just let that five damage. Uh, and that five damage right takes through. through. Yep. I guess. It's my turn! What? I know. <laughs> I'm excited too. It's like you're right after me. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right. All right. So, uh, my first card here, I'm going to flip it over. And it's a Night Haunter. He's haunting the night. So he's a ghost? Uh, kind of. He acts like one because he just ghosts through this demolitionist and attacks my sniper. Nice. Uh, because that's his, his, his special ability. But my sniper ability, my sniper's going to use his special ability, I think. Yeah. And I'm going to attack, hit three damage first, and then when they actually combat, it'll kill him. But unfortunately, it is nighttime, so this brood dies. He is going to do two damage to each troop in lane. So this guy will die, and this guy will die, but then he'll also do two damage. I'm actually going to use my nanobot booster to prevent two damage. So that'll Good. prevent that and he'll be okie dokie. Awesome. It's time to shift. Shift. Nice. Yeah. 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 So uh, let's flip. Weep. Smooth flip. 
Nice. Yep. Got jokes. Three. Good hands. <laughs> All right. So uh, I got the corpse larva injector. So he's gonna bring back his ambi. Look familiar? Except that this time it's not a militia. It's a combat sniper. It looks not familiar. So yeah. These guys are gonna fight. Uh, normally I would they would kill each other, but I'm gonna use my rescue drone to prevent the damage. So kill this guy. This dude's still all good in the hood. Flip okay. this guy over. Well, actually, sorry. First we shift, yeah. and then we flip. Ooh, a death skitter. Ooh. So it's night, and we keep getting these night enemies, which is unfortunate. Uh, but the deal with him on the night is that he actually basically has to get killed twice, and he is a plus two plus two right now because of the corpse larva injector that I just beat. Ouch. So he is actually a seven six. I. Good luck with that. Can't really do anything with that, what I've got right now. That's okay. I'm going to help you out with some mad science. Uh -huh. Shoot some lasers over here. Use my division power. So that's going to deal three damage. Yep. That's wave two. Yep. So that'll deal three damage, and then they'll fight each other uh, and kill each other. Uh, I'm going to use the court, the uh, division, my med bay division ability and bring him back. Nice. I'm sorry. And then he will come back, too, because he has to die twice. Uh, and actually, it'll be all right, because they'll fight. And when he actually dies this time, he only has one HP now, though. Right. So they'll fight, he'll die, he'll blow up, and that'll take care of these guys. So that's good for that. No, you've got nothing left. Uh, I've got really nothing I can do for this this sniper, so it's just gonna march through and do two, three damage. That's my turn. So it is my turn, and I've got some awesome stuff in my hand, so hopefully this will be pretty quick. And I have a Marsh Leaper, which may not be targeted by items or abilities. Well, that is very unfortunate. It's going to be quick then. <laughs> yeah. Um, unfortunately, it is night again, so he's going to attack before I get a chance to, which is just going to kill this guy. Bye, guy. And his item. That's such a waste. So uh, he and my combat sniper are going to murder each other. So that is just super unfortunate there. That sucks. Fortunately, I still have bombs, so please don't be another one of those. So I've got a Moss Rampager, and let's see. Uh, he is going to need both of these. So uh -oh. I'm just going to kill him with my bombs. Checking bombs. Because that, that is how that's going to have to work, because he has six health, so I have to. And... Ooh, but this isn't too rough. Yep, I've got a Mist Shredder here. So he's gonna have to deal damage to the base because I have literally nothing left. Yeah, so yeah, do you guys have anything? Nope. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm out. All right. So he's gonna deal his five damage to the base. Does he have a real deal effect? Okay, that's fine. His real deal effect is a true switch. I have nothing. My science labs are gonna do. All right, so now we're at the start of round three in wave two, which means a couple of things. Uh, one, we have uh, bosses mixed in, uh, and it's bad because uh, our base is down to five health. Uh, it is night, and uh, we did buy the last stalker blade, so we put in a new item. So uh, just to note that that's when items run out, right? you put new items in. Excellent. Uh, so with that said, we're gonna start with Amanda, your player one this turn. Yeah, okay, so. I have a corpse larva injector, and his knight is when this enemy is killed, he is going to give me plus two plus two for the next enemy. And I'm going to place the top troop card over here in my discard pile, and he's a zombie now. That's a combat sniper that you placed, yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, um, just going to use my combat sniper, my good combat sniper's ability to just kill him right here. 
All right, and he is going to die. So, I'm going to shift. Shift. All right, let's see what he is. And he is the Death Charger boss. That is not good at all. Um, he's going to get extra two from that previous dead guy. So he's going to be plus 10 plus 10. Then he's going to come back as a four once I kill him. Because that's his night effect. Uh, so you got to kill him twice, huh? Yeah. And he comes back with health, huh? I kept just enough to kill him, but that's going to exhaust all of my stuff. Do you guys have anything to help me out here? Uh, I, have a com- I have a combat sniper, but I'm going to hold off because if you, 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 you can kill him this time. So okay. with all your direct damage stuff, so why don't you kill him and then we'll see where we're at and I'll figure out if I'm going to use this or not. Alright, like so then I've got my combat sniper ability for three, two weapons, four, two each, and my base. So that's ten total. Power, so that's going to exhaust all of this. Three, four, five, six, and, seven, yeah. Yeah. Can I out the blue token? Yes. Do okay. So he's gonna die, and then he's gonna come back as a four enemy. Yeah, so four health, at eight power. And I am just gonna kill him with a gravity bomb. I don't right. really care. It's but, fine. There you go. All right. So I need some damage on here for my gravity bomb. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna shift all these things down, and. Swamp Howler, so it's night time, not fog, so he's gonna actually deal four damage to the last troop in my lane, and that's gonna kill him. Ooh. So he's dead. Um, I am not gonna be able to kill him because I've exhausted my stuff. Yeah, we'll use one of my uh, Ares Kim injections to give plus two power. Okay, so then these two guys would just kill each other. Oh, yeah, and this is an equipment, so that's actually gonna go to. Okay, yeah. cool, thanks. Which will matter because we're gonna survive. Yes, it's we're, going to we're definitely Optimism. going to survive we're this. Surviving. All right, we have we have a mist shredder. You have zero damage, right? No, that is not what happens with the mist shredder. Mm. I I'm pretty sure if you guys can't help me, we're gonna lose. I'm out of knives. And I have no uh, discard pile. I'm out of bombs the and only, lasers. The only thing I can do is use my sniper, but it's not gonna be enough to kill him. No, it's not. Hmm. So he's probably just going to come in and deal his five damage, and we're going to die. So basically, science killed us. Yeah. Death yeah. by science. Science ran right out of bombs. Yep. Definitely not weapons research, letting all that damage through earlier. <laughs> yeah. This I clearly not right. Well, so these guys will march through. I mean, my, I could use my combat sniper to kill yeah. that combat sniper, but still, this guy's going to do the yep. five damage. So that's going to be the game. Yep. Yep. All right. Well, as a quick overview of what Xenoshift Dreadmire looks like. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for following. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah.